the best player in position for the retribution. Yeah, on the side of PTK is struggling to even get close to the objective here. The ball charge does come through, but the damage is not followed up. Nicolette is on the backside. PTK able to take the very first kill here. Yeah, Nicolette is going to get the kill, takes down Shark, but they will lose the first turtles. Gaming Gladiators is able to secure that best player for the regular season, but definitely a strong opening for the side of BTK. They're just keeping up with the side of Gaming Gladiators, and I think that's a very good uh, result. Ooh, big knockup though, Nicolette with massive damage. Zane will take down Shark, best player. And Fraser's Wrath will be able to dash out of there last second. Down 2 0 and 2. Now, Shark dying is not that big of a deal, especially since he is on that realm position, but definitely is still an advantage for the side of BTK. Yeah, BTK rotating around, able to take these objectives. Almost, but BTK having the numbers advantage in the turtle pit. Yeah, look at the turtle, 50% HP. Oh. Big, I'm offended from Shark, best player. Nicolette, Cold World, need to find a, an answer. Mopa Zane very low. Shark and Chicken not trying to allow him to get away. Chaining him with CC. Zane still wants this turtle in position for a possible retribution. But the best player will be able to claim the second turtle of the game over the Bloodthirsty Kings. Yeah, and the goal lead is still really close, right? The side of Gaming Guide is they're able to get one pick off along with the objective in the gold. But if Carry is a oh, top side. Yeah, Zia. Trade Mobile Zane will fall. Who will be the one to take him down? Milo left by himself to fend off against three members of Game of Gladiators and hit him uh, pretty hard right there. Very low. Shark will be able to take the kill. The chain CC. And that is going to be two to three. Three to three on the board, even in kills from both sides. The BTK. Now, we do see a small gold lead in place. Retribution comes through. So, best player looking to get onto a small engagement. Yeah, looking to engage in the mid lane. Cold World very low. Praises Wrath for some additional chip damage. Moba Zane frontlining a lot of the damage, but now caught with the crowd control over pressuring him. Gaming Gladiators looking to take him down. Who will draw the kill? Now a 4 to 3 lead in terms of kills and also a turret advantage for Gaming Gladiators. Player frontlining, knocking up Moba Zane. Chicken ready to use the Bravest Fighter in the Raging Slash. Milo now going to go ahead and sustain himself, trying to frontline the damage, bait out some utility, but hit with a lot of crowd control. And Z with the speedy light moves will shut him down. It's going to be a one for none trade inside of the mid lane. It's team fights. Game Cave, they don't have that backline assassin to look to close the gap onto Hoon. So they're definitely going to have a lot of trouble trying to clear up for him. Ooh, wild chance from Cold World. Tier one turn on the top side. Just fall. Praise his wrath. Cold will use the flicker to get out. A smidgen of HP back to safety, that but lane bully to be able to dominate the early game that Zia should not have. But side of BTK, they're not kind of just falling left and right. The Lord going down the retribution onto the hands of Game Gladiators. Yeah, I mean, look at Moba Zane, he's not able to find a window of opportunity to get into the Lord Pit with Shark zoning him out over there on this Ruby For twice. But now Game Gladiator is really ramping up the production here. Ooh, massive Astro Echo and the Siege for the Tier 1 turret. Gaming Gladiators opened up the mid lane in their favor. Whole world with a lot of crowd control. Stun! Shark! Trying to keep him at bay. Forced to use the wild charge. Back to safety. Lord on the bot side. Marching toward the Tier 2 turret. That yeah. late game and also Hoon completely, you know, untouched in this series. And ooh, oh, Diamond Offended! Four men set! Shark on fire with the Ruby the Offended! Catching basic, catching chicken, catching Zane. Maybe we can get some more. Cold World is gonna take down chicken. That's gonna be a two for three trade. Nicolette, find Shark. My goodness, you wait. Both teams giving it their all, but Gaming Gladiators slightly ahead as they have forced BTK down to their inhibitor turrets. With I'm offended. Base has been cracked open for the Bloodthirsty Kings. Gaming Gladiators knocking for a possible victory. BTK with the response. So Milo, very low. Zia, Speedy Light Wills will find him. One member down for the Bloodthirsty Kings, and the inhibitor will fall in the mid lane. BTK on the back and trying to hold him off. Another member falls. Zia with the double kill finds Moba Zay. Triple knock up the wild charge from Cold World. Fight Tick will find Nicolette Basic. Very low. Zia rushing in, but Hoon will be able to get the kill. Last second, Cold World by himself. A quick. Finish for the side of Gaming Gladiators is Cobra by himself, not enough to contest. The Gaming Gladiators, they're gonna go in for the kill. Full brutality right now for the first match of the day. This GG will shut down BTK in game number one.
turn this game just because they have the kill pressure on the top side nicolette is on a great hero but the objective is coming through here yeah it looks like mobile zane maybe able to get the retribution best player in position though there goes a the heavy spin zane able to hold off gaming gladiators and claim the turtle for the bloodthirsty kings but now needs to get back to safety the chase is on the way eagle from cool world makes his way into the tier two turret and nobody will fall a good start for the Bloodthirsty Kings, but Gaming Gladiators will go ahead and try and take up this orange buff for no contest. See that uh, turtle getting very low. It's pretty much a 50-50 retro between him and uh, best player at that point. Honestly, working more in Zane's favor. It's Chicken. We'll get first blood, though. It's going to find Milo in the 1v1 trade on the bot side. Cold World, very low. Needs to get back to safety. Looks like he will be able to get there as Zane will be able to kite off the team of GG. Sniper damage over there from Nicolette. Great Astro Echo placement as well. Chicken, though, over there on the Turtle Pit. Looks like they're going to try and claim a Turtle for their own. Lost the last one of Mobile Zane with that Heavy Spin pin on the wall. There goes the Heavy Spin again. Chicken, though, will get the Turtle for Game and Gladiators. No retribution needed. Able to outdo Mobile Zane right there. And best player are going to see Basic ahead by 500 gold. Up against Zia to make up for it. On the bot side, though, the Siege 4. The Tier 1 turret on the way from the side of BTK, but now... A little bit of resistance as Gaming Gladiators is going to push through with the numbers. Heavy spin from Moba Zane trying to push them back. Boom! We'll find basic Moba Zane. Not able to get back. Oh, wait a second! The guiding win! Last second from Cold World to keep Moba Zane alive. We had the saving grace coming out from Cold World. Able to get Moba Zane out of the situation. I thought basic was going to get alive, but no. Chicken says no. <laughs> Zane, get back into the base. He's able to use the bravest fighter stance along with the flicker to shut down Moba Zane once again. But at the same time, Gaming Gladiators has done so well in a lot of these engagement. And take a look at this here. Yeah, Cold World should be able to get out of there. He does have the circling eagle. He like wheels. Oh, close call. Moba Zane, he's pushing him back in the Cold World. He needs to be careful. Best player. They try and close the distance. Stun decided to tier two turret. Cold World will be able to get back to safety. Down half HP. The concealed plague being popped by the side of Gaming Gladiators. And the initiation from Cold World here. Moba Zane trying to wrap around, trying to get a pin. Connects on the shark, but he's able to get out of there last minute. Basic? Before BTK can shut him down. Basic, though, torn apart. Memories! He's gonna find best player. Mission accomplished. No retribution for GG. But look at Chicken wrapping around. He was able to take that turtle earlier in the game. No way. They don't know he's there. Justice blades out. No, he's not gonna go in. He knows that may be a little bit more than he can handle. Inside of gaming gliders, he should be able to protect that. No problem. Ooh, Zane taking a lot of damage with the Mathilda play from Koro and the guiding win. Gets him out of the tier two turret and a kill on the way is basic. Torn apart memory on to Chicken. This moment. Yeah, looking brighter than ever. Can they keep up this momentum as they are seeing a little bit of pushback from the side of Gaming Gladiators. Circling Eagle connecting. Last Sandy from Milo on the best player. Basically, will be able to get the kill yet again. Now 3-1-0 and zero, leading the way up against Zia, who has yet to pick up a kill this entire game. Beforehand, but it looks like they're looking to go in. The Lord is marching down this so low here. No, I don't think they'll be able to close the distance. Moba Zane will be able to get the retribution in time. The Lord has gone into the hands of the Bloodthirsty Kings. Chicken may fall, pinned on the wall, and Basic finds his fourth kill of the game to shut him down. As Astro Echo is going to connect from Nicolette. Luminous Lord now in play. Best player! Very low torn apart memories! Basic! Eyes on the prize! High value target! He's going to find best player, which means BTK will be able to claim this Lord uncontested. Yeah, see, so people should be picking up this Brody quite often. It's not only a lane bully, but when you when you have all the items, when you're able to get onto that mid and late game, deal a lot of damage late game, and especially getting those last hit pickoffs. And you know, this time around, BTK looking for another engagement. Zia way far outside of the protection from his team, getting bursted down, even though he has the damage, not able to find a kill, and now an opportunity for BTK to even out the series takes the inhibitor for the top side so the side that of pdk they have to look to see if they could get Let initiation onto the mid side and look at milo going in on hoon yeah they have 15 seconds before zia spawns in and looks like btk is gonna go in to try and close it out they did lose basic though which is gonna limit their push potential best player trying to get out of there back to the base able to get the region just in time with this lord hitting the base crystal fighting trying to take down moba zane cold world and also milo by himself Nicolette will be able to claim the last standing inhibitor for the mid lane in the base. It's been completely open for Gaming Gladiators. So we'll find Shark. They are down one member 
But without the 25 memories, it may be a counterplay for the side of Game Gladiators. Even Zayn using the heavy spin, catching best player. But he's able to wrap it around. Maybe a misplay from the side of BTK if they're not careful. Chicken. Saudi has the rock. Inside of the full team of BTK. Use the winner, Trump G. And Nicolai with the snipe to shut him down. Execution style. And BTK can gain their composure in the Lord Cookie. They're going oh. in the body. Zia. Snipe Nicolette trying to get another kill. Forced to go back to the base. Still getting burned over there with the damage. And it looks like Bloodthirsty Kings, they don't want the Lord. They want the game ender. They want to take this to a game number three. And they may be able to do that just yet. Nicolette will go ahead and shut down best player Hoon. And Zia by themselves with the full team. The Bloodthirsty Kings. Can they hold them off? Moving back to the base force region. Zia with the knockup. The down goes the base. Crystal and BTK is taking us to game number three. Gets game Gladiator. Extremely oh. good at using the Matilda ult to engage and disengage for his own safety. But Milo, double Petri. Yeah, who caught with a lot of CC and Nicolette will be able to shut him down. First blood for the Bloodthirsty Kings. Match to watch for, and especially since we're going on to game three, a very classic game. And Zia oh. here oh. looking to get birds oh. to down. Yeah, one for one trade, though, is basically fall. Both marksmen lose has the time to kind of scale quite well here in the mid game. Yeah, speaking of scaling, Black Dragon from Milo Ooh. trying to seize the opportunity. Double petrified. Basic will find Zia. Another round. Keeping BTK alive. Mopa Zane will shut down Boom. Two for none trade. BTK stampeding through. Maybe able to take this mid turret. Nicolette is playing a much better mage than uh, Hoon there. But top side here, Basic looking to engage. No Fury does get proc by Shark, not gonna knock up any members of BTK. Milo will take down Fried Chicken. Now the seize of opportunity. Basic will claim the tier one turret. BTK getting what they came for, but Mofa Zane needing to get out of there. Hit with a little bit of CC, but oh saved God. by the guiding win provided by Coldwell. It's just the guiding win from Coldwell is just looking so good. And look at the zone coming out from the backside. Coldwell actually doesn't have that much armor or defense. And he only has, oh, the, the bomb comes through. Yeah, but Basic able to claim the tier one turn in the mid lane. BTK inching their way up the map against Gaming Gladiators. Now. Gaming Gladiators, they're kind of struggling in a lot of these four versus five, five versus five formation. And the circling wind comes through. Yeah, and the airlines for the knockup. Boom, very low. Milo smells low HP. A shark in the water. Out for blood. It's terrifying. Quadruple knockup with the furious dive. The Black Dragon. And Milo, giant since activated, sustains himself. Gets out alive. Best player. Use the praises wrap onto the side of BTK. Tries to get away back to safety. The chase though. Oh. Furious soul grip from Milo able to take him down. That is gonna be two members falling for Game of Gladiators. BTK, all five members members standing strong. But again, I feel like Hoon is lacking a little bit in this department, but circling winds coming through. Yeah, Mathilda Airlines in effect. Heavy spin is gonna go out from Hoon using the IMU against BTK, but is it enough to stop them? Boba Zane on the chase, but now the counterplay from Gaming Gladiators. The Nolan Fury for the quadruple knockup. Nether Realm has the spark out over there from Nicolette to keep them alive. Cole will find Shark. Now there's a moment for GG. And now the counter back from the Bloodthirsty Kings. Chicken. Very little kill time memories from Zia. Find one, takes down Cole World. Struggling and a little bit in the later half of today's match. BTK has been able to find the advantage they're looking for. Speaking of advantage, Lord Very Low, Ready? Black Dragon from Lilo, Lilo circling around. is going to drop down for the Petrified Zane. Claim the Lord for the Bloodthirsty Kings. Maybe able to get some bodies to praise the wrath from. Best player is going to connect on to Milo. Knocking him airborne. Proc the immortality. Cold World. Very low himself. Nicolette will find fried chicken. Hoon is going to find Milo to respond. And one for one trade so far. Zay. A lot of CC. Trap. Team again. Glad it's the No way. From Cold World. The guy who went Cold World. Taking all the hits though. Torn apart memories from Zia. To seal his fate. Three members down. And Zia finds Mopa Zane. A three for one trade. Body. Getting to full build, you are looking at basic. Goes back to Manon Fury for the knockup on a Nicolette. The silence in effect for Milo. Triple knockup on a BTK, but basic will find Shark. Not going to stop them on the push. BTK Milo rotating around. Basic finds a double speed light. Wheels. He's going to find best player. BTK looking to claim some real estate. Milo very low though. Chicken will get the kill. It will get back to safety as well. BTK looking to siege onto this tier two turret in the mid lane. Yeah, a little bit of overaggression coming off of Milo there. You know, he's unable to kind of get the kills that he was looking for, but did pop the purify of Chicken. Unfortunately, it's still a two-for-one trade for the side of BTK as they look to go ahead and do that fully ball once again. 
able to grab up the mid tower of the top side tower not sure if they're looking to siege here but definitely a good push for the side of the kings coming out the utility of the nether realm is going to be the best option here for the black dragon coming through here Ooh, he goes in for the nether realm now look at hoon he picked up the ultimate from nicolette but it does he have enough time to close the distance they have to go in nether realm activated who will get the slaughter for no fear for the quad knock up, up against btk lord will be claimed best player with the retribution zia finds a basic finds best player zia takes down milo for the double kill the siege is not done though cold world basic trying to get back to safety alongside nicolette game and gladiators putting btk on their backs the lord play turning this back around in their favor armor to be able to deal with the turn apart memory that they have the shark looking to go in here yeah milo coming up with the petrified black dragon nether realm oh that's a huge little early from hoon a big play for btk they still have it over there for nicolette if they do want to take this fight milo does not have that black dragon though looks like gaming gladiators they realize they need that utility back so they're going to disengage a little bit but it opens up the opportunity for btk to take the sword i mean look at basic already chipping it down using speedy light wheels cold world boba zane nicolette zoning out gaming gladiators and finding the opportunity the taunt on the best player the knockup though the response back gaming gladiators if they want to have a chance they need to find a way to get inside of the lord pit but basic, oh, basic. shifting focus over the best player finds a jungler Back to safety, best player goes. Nether Realm activated over there from Nicolette to keep BTK alive. And now it's a small window. They will be able to take this Lord as Gaming Gladiator is not able to close the distance. And with that major objective, a chance for BTK to possibly close out this series. I mean, I don't even see the Lord's HP right now. I'm imagining it's about 25% oh, HP. No. Okay, it is very low. You're going to see the knockup though. The Airborne fly from Milo. Terrified immortality being proc. Lord, not even at the retribution mark yet. Milo will fall. Zia! Be able to shut him down circling the eagle connected corrosive strike from zia trying to get away from cold world in order to take the wins in these fights yeah and who use the nether realm and Owen fury for the knock up on the btk they're going in for basic finds best player this is big the bloodthirsty kings a heavy spin on the wall catching shark circling the eagle cold world mathilda airlines connecting shark immortality has been proc but chicken joining the party both sides down one member but best player out of the playing field means game and gladiators does not have a retribution yeah and now btk actually gets the rise up right 40 seconds for best player they can kind of take their time make sure this lord is sinking it's guaranteed for the side of btk and this is huge for the kings of the kings here right they're getting the upset that they're looking for it is into that late game where both teams pretty much have to make these high iq plays and btk it feels like their comp is just slightly better there's just too much great ultimates that btk has that you know the side of gaming gladiators have to choose and now the lord is coming down yeah it looks like btk will be able to claim this with no contest a big target to be able to close this game i mean look how long it took with their <laughs> entire team trying to burst it down with no contest along we with the petrify has been kind of the death of the side of gg btk trying to go in for the game ender milo started early drops down the black dragon petrify the nether realm over there from him with the imu a lot of mobility on the board and utility being wasted boba zane heavy spin catching the best player basically go ahead and shut him down speed light goes down goes the lord though game gladiators trying to hold him off not trying to let them to finish off this game they still have minions to work in their favor though and they do have the numbers as game and gladiators is one short with best player falling do they go in for the game ender minions on the top minions on the bottom minions in the mid and the circling eagle for the connection, base crystal, 50%. Immortality from Proctor Mobile Zane. They're not done though. Milo wrestling with the uh, Fury Stive. Oh my. Shot as the minions fall. Zero. Uh, a base crystal. BTK able to claim the series the reverse sweep against Game and Gladiator.